Please welcome to the stage Hunter Beck, Senior Director of Product Management at Cognite. Hunter specializes in manufacturing and brings to us his expertise in digitizing industrial processes and ensuring customer success in adopting data-driven operations platforms. And today, he walk us through Cognize Data Fusion platform as well. Welcome, Hunter. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Hunter, why don't you give us a little bit of background on Cognite and its Data Fusion platform? Yeah, sure thing. So, I mean, uh, to put it simply, Cognite was really built to take uh, what is incredibly complicated, uh, complex industrial data mm -hmm. uh, and make it simple to use give it access to the engineers, the operators, the shop floor personnel, the people who can really impact the efficiency of an organization. I see. And to make that happen is, is not magic. Uh, and uh, what we've created is, is a software called Cognite Data Fusion, uh, where we work to get all of that to get data together, make it into an easy to use format, but also do so in a way that you're not just deploying a solution to one line or to one factory but can actually seamlessly scale solutions across the entire enterprise. Uh, we're going to talk a lot more about that today, I'm sure, um, but, uh, but that's it in a nutshell. I think so too, yeah, that's great. So how is AI integrated into Cognite systems? It's a great question, and I mean, in, in many ways we feel um, lucky uh, that, that Cognite was, feels like it was built for this, for this moment, um, because when we've created this, what we call an industrial knowledge graph, this representation mm -hmm. of all of the data in a yep. manufacturing organization, um, AI can be applied in a variety of different ways. And if you really boil it down, there's kind of two major areas. Um, there's one which is making that data easy to use. Uh, as the knowledge graph go grows, uh, you can leverage generative AI to query it and do so in a reliable way. And we'll come back to that more later, I'm sure. But the other element, and this is, I think, even more novel, is um, industry has to trust that data, uh, and they need a way to be able to populate that underlying industrial knowledge graph. And turns out the generative AI is really good at consuming a lot of messy data and helping you to bring it into a more sensible format. Uh, so something I'm really excited to show later in the demonstration as well, uh, practically, how we're taking that messy data using generative AI and actually making it uh, easy to use. Yeah. I like how AI fits into this whole system, right? Me too. Great. So how does Cognite help businesses collaborate? You know, I, I think it's a good question. And, you know, while we're talking a lot about data, right? I mean, um, Cognite is obviously specializing in that. But if you talk to uh, the users of our platform, the people, the process engineers, automation engineers, and others on the shop floor, um, what they struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis a lot of times revolves around the fact that they have these slow, cumbersome processes. They're email-driven, they're phone-call-driven, they're word-of-mouth-driven, they're paper-based, um, and that disrupts collaboration. Uh, and especially mm -hmm. between organizations like quality and manufacturing and uh, a variety of these, these organizations. And what Cognite is able to do, though, uh, while we're focused on the data aspect of it, is a lot of the information those individuals could use uh, to collaborate better, we can make richer, easier to find, and then allow them to collaborate directly mm -hmm. on top of the data, yeah. rather than uh, taking a screenshot of something and sending it to your colleague or, or giving a phone call. And that has an another big benefit, which is that when you do these, this collaboration in the digital world, you can capture that information. You can reuse that information. So when the same problem uh, comes up again in, this, in a different factory or a different line, you can reuse all of that information uh, in a rich way so that your organization has a truly continuous improvement loop uh, rather than relying on kind of interim processes every five years where you evaluate your, your manufacturing floor and hope that, that that's enough of a cycle to, to improve things. So using AI responsibly is a big topic. Can you maybe elaborate a little bit on how you address that aspect? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think, you know, we're talking with uh, a lot of industrial companies about AI these days, and the term trust just comes up over and over and over again, right? How can I trust that what AI is delivering to me, this what to them is a very much a, a black box technology, how can I trust the response to that? And I think 
that's an area where, of course, Cognite is applying kind of best practices and security and SOC standards. And we're working with our partners like Microsoft to make sure those things are best in class. But the more interesting thing is that because Cognite has this unique approach of applying generative AI on top of this industrial knowledge graph, we can also provide more reliable answers to questions that you might ask of generative AI. Because generative AI is not giving you just a summary. It might help you quickly get to the right data, uh, but you're also able to then uh, query the underlying deterministic knowledge graph. What that means is that it gives you exact answers every single time. Uh, and that's super important when you're talking about safety critical systems or talking about things that are affecting you know, multi-million dollar production. And, uh, and that combination allows individuals to have a lot more trust in, in the answers that generative AI is, is giving. And it also allows them to check its homework. And I think that's an important piece as well, because you don't just have to rely on the summary or the first answer that generative AI gave you. You can always double click and we give you that reference to how it arrived at the answer. What data did it use? Which page of the engineering document uh, did it get that data from? And that allows you to always take that, that second step to verify and ensure that you can trust in the, the answer that it's providing. Okay, and you mentioned uh, security already. Yeah. So maybe you can go a little deeper on how you address this aspect of security and what measures you put in place. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, security is something that we take uh, as, as really paramount. I mean, we exclusively deal with industrial data uh, for some of the largest industrial companies in the world. So that is hypersensitive. And for manufacturing clients, that is IP, right? Um, and yeah, so, of course, yeah. yeah, and I mean, we make sure that we are uh, both segmenting the data, that we're applying some of the most granular access control on that data. So even within okay. an organization, they can make sure that if they decide they want to apply a practice where they segment uh, unit by unit or factory by factory, what have you, that they're able to apply their best practices mm -hmm. depending on the, the security levels of the data. And of course, we're connecting to their existing identity providers from, from Azure, et cetera, to be able to make sure that uh, we are not trying to do everything and we're connecting to their best in practice systems that are already being leveraged for a lot of the security aspects of it. And again, on the generative AI side in particular, um, I think this is where the space is moving very quickly. Uh, we make sure that their industrial data never leaves, uh, leaves their control, yeah. leaves their governance. Uh, and also that we, you know, we have to work very closely with our technology partners on these sort of things, because as the space evolves, uh, I think it's going to, to continue to require us to, to make sure that we are providing that security that our trust customers ultimately expect of us. Excellent. So now let's have a look at the demo. Excited to show you guys. Jumping straight into Cognate Data Fusion here, you know, there's loads of workflows in industry that start with just finding data. You don't always know exactly where to go. So here we're just kind of fuzzily searching, but using generative AI to help accelerate that process. And what it's doing is creating a structured query that calls to Cognate Data Fusion, shows its homework along the way so you can adjust those queries. Then we can jump straight into that data where we can get all the information, the, the past failures, check that I'm working on the right uh, equipment in 3D, but importantly, we're not just finding the right data. We're also wanting to interact and collaborate on that data like we talked about earlier. So what we're gonna do is bring that information into what Cognit calls our industrial canvas. And we're gonna do troubleshooting on that compressor. And the way we do that is we pull all of that information in its full format and all of the relationships with other information. You know, take the time series data from OPC UA or the PNID or a past RCA. All of that information can be brought in you can work on the actual data itself uh, with your colleagues as you're going through that information, through that process of troubleshooting the equipment, move around, interact, and more. And if we zoom into this PNID here, we can see that that process safety valve that we saw failure on earlier is interactive here because we've scanned it, leveraging AI to make it interactive. So that then we're able to bring that information in along with it as well. And of course, pull in things like maybe a failure a uh, troubleshooting guide that my company has, completely proprietary information, but important information for this process. And of course, it's 74 pages. I could read through that on my own, or I could ask Generative AI to help me out. So here I asked Generative AI how I should troubleshoot this process safety valve. And it's gonna read through the whole document and give me a set of answers and summary of how I should actually go about doing that. 
And again, it's gonna show where it got that information from so I can always double check to make sure that we're doing the right things in my organization. And can even bring that into the, the, the canvas here as, as a sticky note. But part of this then is we might wanna look at the data sheet for that, that valve. And we have these nice documents that come from most equipment suppliers and they're great. Uh, but at the end of the day, we can also leverage generative AI to do even more with this. So what I'm gonna to jump to here is just how we are consuming that document, using generative AI to structure it, but then also allowing engineers or data managers to make sure they approve that data is correct. And again, this is a process safety valve we're looking at. So that's an incredibly important piece of equipment, not just for production, but for the safety of the individuals that are operating the plant. And now when I jump back to the canvas, I can not only look at the document, I can pull in structured information like the inlet size and manufacturer, et cetera, not only for me as a user, but also for predictive maintenance models or others that you might want to run and use that exact same data. But again, everything is built to be collaborative, interactive, and to generate trust with the user with generative AI on top of that industrial knowledge graph. All right, so we just saw how Cognize Stasia Fusion Platform is revolutionizing data exploration with AI. Hunter, so we have some more questions for you. Um, the first one, data contextualization came up quite a bit in the demo. Mm. Can you maybe give us a little bit of a glimpse on how that relates to improving operational efficiency? Yeah, for sure. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's a variety of different ways. Mm. Um, but I mean, ultimately, I think it boils down to, I mean, look, manufacturers have been working on continuous improvement initiatives uh, yeah. since manufacturing has existed. Time immemorial. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Kaizen came around in the 80s, right? Yeah. The simple answer is, I mean, all the basic problems, they've been solved. Yeah. They're, 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 they're gone. Uh, they're, they're not there anymore in, in major That's manufacturing cool. organizations. And I think as a result of that, the most interesting problems to solve now, the most important ones to solve now, require cross data source insights. Okay. They require you to be able to look across all of that information to be able to take even more complex, interesting decisions. Um, and furthermore, the type of things like we saw in the, in the demonstration around uh, process safety systems, troubleshooting equipment, et cetera, uh, don't focus so much on the efficiency of the individual, but think about what that extra bit of efficiency is gonna give them. If you can get a system online a few hours earlier, or if you can turn over a line uh, a, a few minutes faster. Yeah. Like those sort of process efficiencies, those are huge. And the sort of things that we're focusing on is making that uh, easy for those individuals to do, whether they're a veteran who's been working in the plant for their entire life, or they're a 21 year old who just started as an apprentice in the organization. Uh, and I think that's, that's uh, super impactful when it comes to operational efficiency. So how do you help workers that may not have any experience in data management mm -hmm. actually use data fusion? Uh, an, another wonderful question. And I mean, um, this is one of the, I think the key benefits that Cognite has um, is that we, we focus exclusively on the industrial sectors. We focus on manufacturing energy and power renewables, right? And so we've been able to take a focused approach to those industries, their needs, their problems, uh, and we're able to simplify, make things intuitive for their specific needs, uh, taking care of all the data management uh, needs underneath. Um, so take an example. I mean, uh, in the chemical industry, uh, which we were talking about before both of us have, have focused on in the past, um, they leverage these things called process instrumentation diagrams. We saw one in the demonstration mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah. Um, those diagrams uh, come from a system well, we've created an out-of-the-box out of the box to extractor for that data. So you just plug and play, get the data out, and get it in the CDF. Um, furthermore, then you need to make it interactive. We've created pre-trained models that scan the, the document, turn it into something interactive, connected to SAP, connected to your time series from OPC UA, what have you. Uh, and then we have all the rich interaction capabilities for users to leverage that data. So they don't have to even think about all of that. And of course, yeah. if you're the data manager, uh, we have out-of-the-box tools which allow them to, to monitor that entire life cycle. Uh, so it's very easy for them to manage what could become a hugely complex thing that requires dozens of people to manage the end-to-end -end capability uh, and turn it into something that can be done by a process engineer and, and a data manager, right? And I think that's, uh, that's really required uh, to do these sort of things at scale in manufacturing. That's really impressive. Do you have a real-world example of how 
your platform helps customers optimize? Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to pick. It's like uh, choosing a favorite uh, favorite child, right? Uh, but I think um, two come to mind in particular. Mm -hmm. um, one is Wellville. They're one of the largest um, wood processors in, in Scandinavia. Um, and they leverage Cognate Data Fusion uh, to do something that I think wouldn't have been possible five or 10 years ago, which is they onboarded a plant with all of their critical data sources, getting individuals in, in operations, operators at the line, changing parameters on a machine, got them leveraging that in six weeks. They rolled it out to another 10 plants in two weeks. Wow. I, I mean, that's right. I mean, eight weeks to get to 11 yeah. plants, right? That's, that's, uh, it's not bad. I'll take those numbers. It's not quite a uh, Formula One pit stop, but it's, it's getting close. Um, and I think uh, a second one, though, which is, is maybe shows the other end of that spectrum, mm -hmm. is uh, a chemical manufacturing client that we're working with. It's uh, working in uh, commodity chemicals, but also further into specialized materials, yep. uh, Selenese. And they, mm -hmm. I mean, when I say it's impressive, the speed globally that they're moving across. And I mean, for them, you ask them what's most important to them. And, it, and it's moving people away from finding data. And, and I love this, to finding solutions. Like that was the key. Like I, I will remember that phrase forever from, from their key digital lead, uh, that that was their key, key point. And, and they're doing that. They're doing that in practice across all 50 of their sites, uh, solving complicated problems, uh, from, from energy management to robotic rounds. So leveraging uh, Boston Dynamics robots to start to search and, and find and gather data for them, uh, all enriching that underlying knowledge graph. And they're really, I think on the topic of AI, which is so uh, central to today's discussion, um, they are one of the kind of leading organizations in adopting generative AI in their, in their organization. Because again, that moving from finding data to finding solutions, they, they saw immediately how generative AI was going to enable them to spend more time actually solving problems in the plant than, than finding the right data. Yeah, and I really like that because it sounds so obvious, but in the reality it doesn't, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's great. Is there anything else that we didn't cover in our conversation that would, you would like to point out? You know, it's, it's, um, I think it's easy uh, for, for the various audience members that are listening here to say, all oh, this sounds you know, great. Uh, digitalization sounds fantastic. AI sounds fantastic. Uh, my organization isn't ready to, to handle that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and I think we've heard that come up so many times. How, how do I get started on this digitalization journey, on this generative AI journey uh, practically? And so what I, what I would encourage is that, you know, Cognite has taken that uh, problem head on and we have a, a Cognite Data Fusion quick start program, which is aimed at really going from months or years to do these sort of initiatives to weeks, like we were talking about with some of those uh, key partners of Cognite previously, um, and doing so in a way on live data, on industrial problems, getting solutions into the hands of users so that you can start to prove value and start to take a huge leapfrog towards that overall digital journey. And I mean, it's only step one, but getting that first step right is incredibly important. Excellent, thank you for sharing this and thank you for being with us today. Oh, thanks for having me.